Canary Islands. The Canary Islands is a Spanish archipelago in the southernmost autonomous community of Spain located in the Atlantic Ocean, west of Morocco at the closest point. The Canaries are among the outermost regions, OMR, of the European Union proper. It is also one of the eight regions with special consideration of historical nationality recognized as such by the Spanish government. The Canary Islands belong to the African plate like the Spanish cities of Ceuta and Melilla, the two on the African mainland. The seven main islands are, from largest to smallest in area, Tenerife, Fuerteventura, Gran Canaria, Lanzarote, Louisiana, Palma, Louisiana, Gomera, and El Hierro. The archipelago includes much smaller islands and islets, La Graciosa, Alagranza, Isla de Lobos, Montaña Clara, Roque de la Oeste, and Roque del Este. It also includes a series of adjacent roques, those of Samar, Fasnia, Bonanza, Garachico, and Anaga. In ancient times, the island chain was often referred to as the Fortunate Isles. The Canary Islands are the most southerly region of Spain and the largest and most populated archipelago of the Macaronesia region. Historically, the Canary Islands has been considered a bridge between four continents Africa, North America, South America, and Europe. The archipelago's beaches, climate, and important natural attractions, especially Mas Palomas in Gran Canaria and Teed National Park in Mount Teed, a World Heritage Site. In Tenerife, the third tallest volcano in the world measured from its base on the ocean floor, make it a major tourist destination with over 12 million visitors per year, especially Gran Canaria, Tenerife, Fuerteventura, and Lanzarote. The islands have a subtropical climate, with long hot summers and moderately warm winters. The precipitation levels and the level of maritime moderation vary depending on location and elevation. Green areas as well as desert exist on the archipelago. Due to their location above the temperature inversion layer, the high mountains of these islands are ideal for astronomical observation. For this reason, two professional observatories, Tiet Observatory on the island of Tenerife and Roque de los Muchachos Observatory on the island of La Palma, have been built on the island. The capital of the autonomous community is shared by the cities of Santa Cruz to Tenerife and Las Palmas to Gran Canaria which in turn are the capitals of provinces of Santa Cruz de Tenerife and Las Palmas. Las Palmas de Gran Canaria has been the largest city in the Canaries since 1768, except for a brief period in the 1910s. Between the 1833 Territorial Division of Spain and 1927 Santa Cruz de Tenerife was the sole capital of the Canary Islands. In 1927 a decree ordered that the capital of the Canary Islands be shared, as it remains at present. The third largest city of the Canary Islands is San Cristobal de la Laguna, a World Heritage Site, on Tenerife. This city is also home to the Consejo Consultivo de Canarias, which is the supreme consultative body of Canary Islands. During the time of the Spanish Empire, the Canaries were the main stopover for Spanish galleons on their way to the Americas, which came south to catch the prevailing northeasterly trade winds. The name Islas Canarias is likely derived from the Latin name Canariae Insulae meaning Islands of the Dogs, a name that was applied only to Gran Canaria. According to the historian Pliny the Elder, the Mauritanian King Juba II named the island Canaria because it contained vast multitudes of dogs of very large size. Alternatively, it is said that the original inhabitants of the island, Guanches, used to worship dogs, mummified them and treated dogs generally as holy animals. The ancient Greeks also knew about a people, living far to the west, who are the dog-headed ones who worship dogs on an island. Some hypothesize that the Canary Islands dog worship and the ancient Egyptian cult of the dog-headed god, Anubis are closely connected but there is no explanation given as to which one was first. Other theories speculate that the name comes from the Nukkari Berber tribe living in the Moroccan atlas, named in Roman sources as Canary I, though Pliny again mentions the relation of this term with dogs. The connection to dogs is retained in their depiction on the island's coat of arms. It is considered that the Aborigines of Gran Canaria called themselves Canarias. It is possible that after being conquered, this name was used in plural in Spanish, i.e., as to refer to all of the islands as the Canary Islands. What is certain is that the name of the islands does not derive from the Canary bird, rather, the birds are named after the islands. Tenerife is the largest and most populous island of the archipelago. Gran Canaria with 865,070 inhabitants, is both the Canary Islands' second most populous island, and the third most populous one in Spain after Mallorca.
The island of Fuerteventura is the second largest in the archipelago and located from the African coast. The islands form the Macaronesia ecoregion with the Azores, Cape Verde, Madeira, and the Savage Isles. The Canary Islands is the largest and most populated archipelago of the Macaronesia region. The archipelago consists of seven large and several smaller islands, all of which are volcanic in origin. According to the position of the islands with respect to the northeast trade winds, the climate can be mild and wet or very dry. Several native species form lower silva forests. As a consequence, the individual islands in the Canary Archipelago tend to have distinct microclimates. Those islands such as El Yero, Louisiana, Palma and La Gomera lying to the west of the archipelago have a climate which is influenced by the moist canary current. They are well vegetated even at low levels and have extensive tracts of subtropical Laura Silva forest. As one travels east toward the African coast, the influence of the current diminishes, and the islands become increasingly arid. Fuerteventura and Lanzarote, the islands which are closest to the African mainland are effectively desert or semi-desert. Gran Canaria is known as a continent in miniature for its diverse landscapes like Maspalomas and Roque Nublo. In terms of its climate Tenerife is particularly interesting. The north of the island lies under the influence of the moist Atlantic winds and is well vegetated, while the south of the island around the tourist resorts of Playa de las Americas and Los Cristianos is arid. The island rises to almost above sea level, and at altitude, in the cool relatively wet climate. Forests of the endemic pine Pinus canariensis thrive. Many of the plant species in the Canary Islands, like the Canary Island pine and the dragon tree, Dracaena draco are endemic, as noted by Sabine Bertolo and Philip Barker Webb in their epic work, L'Histoire Naturelle des Isles Canaries, 1835-50. The climate is subtropical and desertic, moderated by the sea and in summer by the trade winds. There are a number of microclimates and the classifications range mainly from semi-arid to desert. According to the Kutvan climate classification, the majority of the Canary Islands have a hot desert climate represented as BWH. There also exists a subtropical humid climate which is very influenced by the ocean in the middle of the islands of La Gomera, Tenerife and La Palma, where the Laura Silva forests grow. The seven major islands, one minor island, and several small islets were originally volcanic islands. Formed by the Canary Hotspot. The Canary Islands is the only place in Spain where volcanic eruptions have been recorded during the modern era, with some volcanoes still active. El Hierro, 2011. Volcanic islands such as those in the Canary Chain often have steep ocean cliffs caused by catastrophic debris avalanches and landslides. The T volcano on Tenerife is the highest mountain in Spain, and the third tallest volcano on Earth on a volcanic ocean island. All the islands except La Gomera have been active in the last million years, four of them, Lanzarote, Tenerife, Louisiana, Palma, and El Hierro, have historical records of eruptions since European discovery. The islands rise from Jurassic oceanic crust associated with the opening of the Atlantic. Underwater magmatism commenced during the Cretaceous, and reached the ocean's surface during the Miocene. The islands are considered as a distinct physiographic section of the Atlas Mountains province, which in turn is part of the larger African Alpine System division. In the summer of 2011 a series of low-magnitude earthquakes occurred beneath El Hierro. These had a linear trend of northeast-southwest. In October a submarine eruption occurred about south of Rischinka. This eruption produced gases and pumice, but no explosive activity was reported. The following table shows the highest mountains in each of the islands. The official natural symbols associated with Canary Islands are the bird Serenus Canaria, Canary, and the Phoenix Canariensis Palm. Four of Spain's 13 national parks are located in the Canary Islands, more than any other autonomous community. Tied National Park is the most visited in Spain, and the oldest and largest within the Canary Islands. The parks are the Canary Islands have four national parks, of which two have been declared World Heritage Site by UNESCO, and the other two declared a World Biosphere Reserve. These national parks are The islands have 13 seats in the Spanish Senate. Of these, 11 seats are directly elected, three for Gran Canaria, three for Tenerife, one for each other island, two seats are indirectly elected by the regional autonomous government. The local government is presided over by Fernando Clavijo the current president of the Canary Islands. There are some pro-independence political parties, like the National Congress of the Canaries, CNC, 
and the popular front of the Canary Islands, but these parties are non-violent, and their popular support is almost insignificant, with no presence in either the autonomous parliament or the Cabildo Censulares. According to Centro de Investigaciones Sociológicas, Sociological Research Center, in 2010, 43.5% of the population of the Canary Islands feels more Canarian than Spanish, 37.6%, of which 7.6% only Canarian, compared to 5.4% that feels more Spanish than Canarian, 2.4%, or only Spanish, 3%. The most popular choice was of those who feel equally Spanish and Canarian, with 49.9%. With these data, one of the Canary recorded levels of identification with higher autonomy from Spain. The autonomous community of the Canary Islands consists of two provinces, Las Palmas and Santa Cruz de Tenerife, whose capitals, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria on Santa Cruz de Tenerife, are capitals of the autonomous community. Each of the seven major islands is ruled by an island council named Cabildo Insular. The international boundary of the Canaries is the subject of dispute between Spain and Morocco. Morocco's official position is that international laws regarding territorial limits do not authorize Spain to claim seabed boundaries based on the territory of the Canaries, since the Canary Islands enjoy a large degree of autonomy. The boundary determines the ownership of seabed oil deposits and other ocean resources. Morocco and Spain have been unable to agree on a compromise regarding the territorial boundary, since neither nation wants to cede its claimed right to the vast resources whose ownership depends upon the boundary. In 2002, for example, Morocco rejected a unilateral Spanish proposal. Before the arrival of humans, the Canaries were inhabited by prehistoric animals, for example, the giant lizard. Galatea Goliath, the Tenerife and Gran Canaria giant rats, and giant prehistoric tortoises, Geocolone Burchardi and Geocolone Vulcanica. The islands may have been visited by the Phoenicians, the Greeks, and the Carthaginians. King Juba II, Caesar Augustus's Numidian protege, is credited with discovering the islands for the Western world. According to Pliny the Elder, Juba found the islands uninhabited, but found a small temple of stone and some traces of buildings. Juba dispatched a naval contingent to reopen the dye production facility at Mogador in what is now western Morocco in the early 1st century AD. That same naval force was subsequently sent on an exploration of the Canary Islands, using Mogador as their mission base. When the Europeans began to explore the islands in the late Middle Ages, they encountered several indigenous peoples living at a Neolithic level of technology. Although the prehistory of the settlement of the Canary Islands is still unclear, Linguistic and genetic analyses seem to indicate that at least some of these inhabitants shared a common origin with the Berbers on the nearby North African coast. The pre-colonial inhabitants came to be known collectively as the Guanches, although Guanches had been the name for only the indigenous inhabitants of Tenerife. From the 14th century onward, numerous visits were made by sailors from Mallorca, Portugal, and Genoa. Lancelot Malocello settled on Lanzarote in 1312. The Majorcans established a mission with a bishop in the islands that lasted from 1350 to 1400. In 1402, the Castilian conquest of the islands began, with the expedition of the French explorers Jean de Betancourt and Petitfer de la Salle, nobles and vassals of Henry III of Castile, to Lanzarote. From there, they went on to conquer Fuerteventura, 1405. And El Yero. Betancur received the title King of the Canary Islands, but still recognized King Henry III as his overlord. It was not a simple military enterprise, given the aboriginal resistance on some islands. Neither was it politically, since the particular interests of the nobility, determined to strengthen their economic and political power through the acquisition of the islands, conflicted with those of the states, particularly Castile which were in the midst of territorial expansion and in a process of strengthening of the crown against the nobility. Historians distinguish two periods in the conquest of the Canary Islands. Aristocratic conquest, Gon Pista Senorial. This refers to the early conquests carried out by the nobility, for their own benefit and without the direct participation of the crown of Castile, which merely granted rights of conquest in exchange for pacts of vassalage between the noble conqueror and the crown. One can identify within this period an early phase known as the Betancourian or Norman conquest, carried out by Jean de Betancour, who was originally from Normandy, and Cadiffer de La Salle between 1402 and 1405, which involved the islands of Lanzarote, El Hierro, 
and Fuerteventura. The subsequent phase is known as the Castilian Conquest, carried out by Castilian nobles who acquired, through purchases, assignments, and marriages, the previously conquered islands and also incorporated the island of La Gomera around 1450. Royal Conquest, Conquista Realinga. This defines the conquest between 1478 and 1496, carried out directly by the Crown of Castile, during the reign of the Catholic monarchs, who armed and partly financed the conquest of those islands which were still to unconquered, Gran Canaria, La Palma, and Tenerife. This phase of the conquest came to an end in the year 1496, with the dominion of the island of Tenerife, bringing the entire Canarian archipelago under the control of the Crown of Castile. Castille.Betancourt also established a base on the island of La Gomera, but it would be many years before the island was fully conquered. The natives of La Gomera, and of Gran Canaria, Tenerife, and La Palma, resisted the Castilian invaders for almost a century. In 1448, Maciet de Betancourt sold the lordship of Lanzarote to Portugal's Prince Henry the Navigator, an action that was accepted by neither the natives nor the Castilians. Despite Pope Nicholas V ruling that the Canary Islands were under Portuguese control, the crisis swelled to a revolt which lasted until 1459 with the final expulsion of the Portuguese. In 1479, Portugal and Castile signed the Treaty of Alcasovas, which settled disputes between Castile and Portugal over the control of the Atlantic. This treaty recognized Castilian control of the Canary Islands but also confirmed Portuguese possession of the Azores, Madeira, and the Cape Verde Islands, and gave the Portuguese rights to any further islands or lands in the Atlantic that might be discovered. The Castilians continued to dominate the islands, but due to the topography and the resistance of the native Guanches, they did not achieve complete control until 1496, when Tenerife and La Palma were finally subdued by Alonso Fernandez de Lugo. After that, the Canaries were incorporated into the Kingdom of Castile. After the conquest, the Castilians imposed a new economic model, based on single crop cultivation, first sugarcane, then wine, an important item of trade with England. In this era, the first institutions of colonial government were founded. Gran Canaria, a colony of the Crown of Castile since March 6, 1480, from 1556, of Spain, and Tenerife, a Spanish colony since 1495, each had its own governor. The cities of Santa Cruz to Tenerife and Las Palmas to Gran Canaria became a stopping point for the Spanish conquerors, traders, and missionaries on their way to the New World. This trade route brought great prosperity to some of the social sectors of the islands. The islands became quite wealthy and soon were attracting merchants and adventurers from all over Europe. Magnificent palaces and churches were built on La Palma during this busy, prosperous period. The Church of El Salvador survives as one of the island's finest examples of the architecture of the 16th century. The Canaries' wealth invited attacks by pirates and privateers. Ottoman Turkish Admiral and Privateer Kamal Reis ventured into the Canaries in 1501, while Morat Reis the Elder captured Lanzarote in 1585. The most severe attack took place in 1599, during the Dutch Revolt. A Dutch fleet of 74 ships and 12,000 men commanded by Pieter van der Des, attacked the capital Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, the city had 3,500 of Gran Canaria's 8,545 inhabitants. The Dutch attacked the Castillo de la Luz, which guarded the harbor. The Canarians evacuated civilians from the city, and the Castillo surrendered, but not the city. The Dutch moved inland, the Canarian cavalry drove them back to Tamarasit, near the city. The Dutch then laid siege to the city demanding the surrender of all its wealth. They received twelve sheep and three caps. Furious, the Dutch sent four thousand soldiers to attack the Council of the Canaries, who were sheltering in the village of Santa Brigida. Three hundred Canarian soldiers ambushed the Dutch in the village of Monte Lantiscal, killing one hundred fifty and forcing the rest to retreat. The Dutch concentrated on Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, attempting to burn it down. The Dutch pillaged Maspalomas, on the southern coast of Gran Canaria, San Sebastian on La Gomera, and Santa Cruz on La Palma, but eventually gave up the siege of Las Palmas and withdrew. In 1618 the Barbary pirates attacked Lanzarote and La Gomera taking 1,000 captives to be sold as slaves. Another noteworthy attack occurred in 1797, when Santa Cruz de Tenerife was attacked by a British fleet under Horatio Nelson on 25th of July. The British were repulsed, losing almost 400 men. It was during this battle that Nelson lost his right arm. 
the sugar-based economy of the islands faced stiff competition from Spain's American colonies. Low prices in the sugar market in the 19th century caused severe recessions on the islands. A new cash crop, cochineal, cochinella, came into cultivation during this time, saving the island's economy. During this time, the Canarian American trade was developed, in which Canarian products such as cochineal, sugarcane, and rum are sold in American ports, such as Ferry Cruz, Campeche, Louisiana, Guayara, and Havana, among others. By the end of the 18th century, Canary Islanders had already emigrated to Spanish American territories, such as Havana, Veracruz, Santo Domingo, San Antonio, Texas, and St. Bernard Parish, Louisiana. These economic difficulties spurred mass emigration, primarily to the Americas, during the 19th and first half of the 20th century. Between 1840 and 1890, as many as 40,000 Canary Islanders emigrated to Venezuela. Also, Thousands of Canarians moved to Puerto Rico where the Spanish monarchy felt that Canarians would adapt to island life better than other immigrants from the mainland of Spain. Deeply entrenched traditions, such as the Mascaras Festival in the town of Atillo, Puerto Rico, are an example of Canarian culture still preserved in Puerto Rico. Similarly, many thousands of Canarians emigrated to the shores of Cuba. During the Spanish-American War of 1898, the Spanish fortified the islands against a possible American attack but no such event took place. Serrera and Wren, 2004, distinguished two different types of expeditions, or voyages, during the period 1770 to 1830, which they term the Romantic period. First are expeditions financed by the states, closely related with the official scientific institutions. Characterized by having strict scientific objectives, and inspired by, the spirit of illustration and progress. In this type of expedition, Serrera and Wren include the following travelers. The second type of expedition identified by Serrera and Wren is one that took place starting from more or less private initiatives. Among these, the key exponents were the following. Serrera and Wren identify the period 1770 to 1830 as one in which in a panorama dominated until that moment by France and England enters with strength and Brio Germany of the Romantic period whose presence in the islands will increase. At the beginning of the 20th century, the British introduced a new cash crop, the banana, the export of which was controlled by companies such as Fifth. The rivalry between the elites of the cities of Las Palmas to Gran Canaria and Santa Cruz to Tenerife for the capital of the islands led to the division of the archipelago into two provinces in 1927. This has not laid to rest the rivalry between the two cities, which continues to this day. During the time of the Second Spanish Republic, Marxist and anarchist workers' movements began to develop, led by figures such as José Miguel Pérez and Guillermo Escanio. However, outside of a few municipalities, these organizations were a minority and fell easily to nationalist forces during the Spanish Civil War. In 1936, Francisco Franco was appointed General Commandant of the Canaries. He joined the military revolt of 17th of July which began the Spanish Civil War. Franco quickly took control of the archipelago, except for a few points of resistance on La Palma and in the town of Vallahermoso, on Lago Merida. Though there was never a war in the islands, the post-war suppression of political dissent on the Canaries was most severe. During the Second World War, Winston Churchill prepared plans for the British seizure of the Canary Islands as a naval base, in the event of Gibraltar being invaded from the Spanish mainland. Opposition to Franco's regime did not begin to organize until the late 1950s, which experienced an upheaval of parties such as the Communist Party of Spain and the formation of various nationalist, leftist parties. After the death of Franco, there was a pro-independence armed movement based in Algeria. The Movement for the Independence and Self-Determination of Canaries Archipelago, MAAC. In 1968, the Organization of African Unity recognized the MAAC as a legitimate African independence movement, and declared the Canary Islands as an African territory still under foreign rule. After the establishment of a democratic constitutional monarchy in Spain, autonomy was granted to the Canaries by a law passed in 1982, with a newly established autonomous devolved government and parliament. In 1983, the first autonomous elections were held. The Spanish Socialist Workers' Party, PSOE, won. In the 2007 elections, the SO gained a plurality of seats, but the Nationalist Canarian Coalition and the Conservative Partido Popular, PP, formed a ruling coalition government. 
The Canary Islands have a population of 2,117,519 inhabitants, 2011, making it the eighth most populous of Spain's autonomous communities, with a density of 282.6 inhabitants per square kilometer. The total area of the archipelago is the Canarian population includes long-tenured residents and new waves of mainland Spanish immigrants, as well as Moroccan, Colombian, Venezuelan, and Italian. Of the total Canarian population in 2009, 2,098,593, 1,799,373 were Spanish and 299,220 200 foreigners. Of these, the majority from the Americas, mainly Colombians, 34,210. Venezuelans, 31,468, Cubans, 11,098, and Dominicans, 10,159. There are also 51,136 African residents, mostly Moroccans, 39,847. The population of the islands according to the 2018 data are The Roman Catholic branch of Christianity has been the majority religion in the archipelago for more than five centuries ever since the conquest of the Canary Islands. However, there are other religious communities. The overwhelming majority of native Canarians are Roman Catholic, 85%, with various smaller foreign-born populations of other Christian beliefs such as Protestants from Northern Europe. The appearance of the Virgin of Candelaria, patron of Canary Islands, was credited with moving the Canary Islands toward Christianity. Two Catholic saints were born in the Canary Islands. Peter of St. Joseph de Matanker and José de Anquieta. Both born on the island of Tenerife, they were respectively missionaries in Guatemala and Brazil. The Canary Islands are divided into two Catholic dioceses, each governed by a bishop. Separate from the overwhelming Christian majority are a minority of Muslims. Among the followers of Islam, the Islamic Federation of the Canary Islands exists to represent the Islamic community in the Canary Islands as well as to provide practical support to members of the Islamic community. Other religious faiths represented include Jehovah's Witnesses, the Church of Jesus Christ of Latter-day Saints as well as Hinduism. Minority religions are also present such as the Church of the Guanche people which is classified as a neo-pagan native religion. Also present are Buddhism, Judaism, Baha'i, Afro-American religion and Chinese religions. The distribution of beliefs in 2012 according to the CIS barometer autonomy was as follows. Ordered from west to east, the Canary Islands are El Hierro, Louisiana, Palma, Louisiana, Gomera, Tenerife, Gran Canaria, Fuerteventura, and Lanzarote. In addition, north of the latter are the island of La Graciosa, the islets of Montana Clara, Alagranza, Roque del Este and Roque del Oeste, belonging to the Chinho Archipelago and northeast of Fuerteventura is the Islet of Lobos. There are also a series of small adjacent rocks in the Canary Islands the Roques de Anaga, Garachico and Fasnia in Tenerife, and those of Samar and Bonanza in El Hierro. El Hierro, the westernmost island, covers, making it the smallest of the major islands, and the least populous with 10,753 inhabitants. The whole island was declared reserve of the biosphere in 2000. Its capital is Valverde. Also known as Faro, it was once believed to be the westernmost land in the world. Fuerteventura, with a surface of, is the second most extensive island of the archipelago. It has been declared a biosphere reserve by UNESCO. It has a population of 100,929. Being also the most ancient of the islands, it is the one that is more eroded. Its highest point is the peak of the Bramble, at a height of. Its capital is Puerto del Rosario. Gran Canaria has 845,676 inhabitants. The capital, Las Palmas de Gran Canaria, 377,203 inhabitants, is the most populous city and shares the status of capital of the Canaries with Santa Cruz de Tenerife. Gran Canaria's surface area is. In center of the island lie the Roque Nublo and Pico de las Nieves, Peak of Snow. In the south of island are the Maspalomas Dunes, Gran Canaria. These are the biggest tourist attractions. La Gomera has an area of and is the second least populous island with 22,622 inhabitants. Geologically it is one of the oldest of the archipelago. The insular capital is San Sebastián de La Gomera. Garajanes National Park is located on the island. Lanzarote is the easternmost island and one of the most ancient of the archipelago, 
and it has shown evidence of recent volcanic activity. It has a surface of, and a population of 139,506 inhabitants, including the adjacent islets of the Chinho Archipelago. The capital is Arecife, with 56,834 inhabitants. The Chinho Archipelago includes the islands La Graciosa, Alagranza, Montaña Clara, Roque del Este and Roque del Oeste. It has a surface of, and a population of 658 inhabitants all of them on La Graciosa. With, La Graciosa, is the smallest inhabited island of the Canaries, and the major island of the Chinho Archipelago. La Palma with 86,528 inhabitants covering an area of, is in its entirety a biosphere reserve. It shows no recent signs of volcanic activity, even though the volcano Tanaguia entered into eruption last in 1971. In addition, it is the second highest island of the Canaries, with the Roque de los Muchachos' as highest point. Santa Cruz de la Palma, known to those on the island as simply Santa Cruz, is its capital. Tenerife is, with its area of, the most extensive island of the Canary Islands. In addition, with 906,854 inhabitants it is the most populated island of the archipelago in Spain. Two of the island's principal cities are located on it, the capital, Santa Cruz de Tenerife and San Cristobal de la Laguna, a World Heritage Site. San Cristobal de la Laguna, the second city of the island is home to the oldest university in the Canary Islands, the University of La Laguna. The Teed, with its as the highest peak of Spain and also a World Heritage Site. Tenerife is the site of the worst air disaster in the history of aviation, in which 583 people were killed in the collision of two Boeing 747s on March 27, 1977. The economy is based primarily on tourism, which makes up 32% of the GDP. The Canaries receive about 12 million tourists per year. Construction makes up nearly 20% of the GDP in tropical agriculture primarily bananas and tobacco, are grown for export to Europe and the Americas. Ecologists are concerned that the resources, especially in the more arid islands, are being overexploited but there are still many agricultural resources like tomatoes, potatoes, onions, cochineal, sugarcane, grapes, vines, dates, oranges, lemons, figs, wheat, barley, maize, apricots, peaches and almonds. The economy is 25 billion euros, 2001 GDP figures. The islands experienced continuous growth during a 20-year period, up until 2001, at a rate of approximately 5% annually. This growth was fueled mainly by huge amounts of foreign direct investment, mostly to develop tourism real estate, hotels and apartments, and European funds, near 11 billion euros euro in the period from 2000 to 2007. Since the Canary Islands are labeled Region Objective 1, eligible for Euro structural funds. Additionally, the EU allows the Canary Islands government to offer special tax concessions for investors who incorporate under the Zona Special Canarias EC regime and create more than five jobs. Spain gave permission in August 2014 for Repsol and its partners to explore oil and gas prospects off the Canary Islands, involving an investment of 7.5 billion euros over four years, to commence at the end of 2016. Repsol at the time said the area could ultimately produce 100,000 barrels of oil a day, which would meet 10% of Spain's energy needs. However, the analysis of samples obtained did not show the necessary volume nor quality to consider future extraction and the project was scrapped. The Canary Islands have great natural attractions, climate and beaches make the islands a major tourist destination, being visited each year by about 12 million people, 11,986,059 in 2007, noting 29% of Britons, 22% of Spanish, not residents of the Canaries, and 21% of Germans. Among the islands, Tenerife has the largest number of tourists received annually followed by Gran Canaria and Lanzarote. The archipelago's principal tourist attraction is the Teed National Park, in Tenerife, where the highest mountain in Spain and third-largest volcano in the world Mount Teed, receives over 2.8 million visitors annually. The combination of high mountains, proximity to Europe, and clean air has made the Roque de los Muchachos Peak, on La Palma Island, a leading location for telescopes like the Gran Tacan. The islands, as an autonomous region of Spain, are in the European Union and the Schengen area. They are in the European Union Customs Union but outside that area, instead of that there is a local sales tax, IGIC, 
which has a general rate of 7%, an increased tax rate of 13.5%, a reduced tax rate of 3% and a zero tax rate for certain basic need products and services. Consequently, some products are subject to additional VAT if being exported from the islands into mainland Spain or the rest of the EU. Canarian time is Western European time, WET, or GMT, in summer one hour ahead of GMT. So Canarian time is one hour behind that of mainland Spain and the same as that of the UK, Ireland and Portugal all year round. In 2017, 15,976,000 tourists visited the Canary Islands. The statistics for destination island were the Canary Islands have eight airports altogether, two of the main ports of Spain, and an extensive network of autopistas, highways, and other roads. For a roadmap, see Multimap. There are large ferry boats that link islands as well as fast ferries linking most of the islands. Both types can transport large numbers of passengers and cargo, including vehicles. Fast ferries are made of aluminium and powered by modern and efficient diesel engines, while conventional ferries have a steel hull on Dare powered by heavy oil. Fast ferries travel relatively quickly, in excess of, and are a faster method of transportation than the conventional ferry, some. A typical ferry ride between La Palma and Tenerife may take up to 8 hours or more while a fast ferry takes about 2 and a half hours and between Tenerife and Gran Canaria can be about 1 hour. The largest airport is the Gran Canaria Airport. Tenerife has two airports, Tenerife North Airport and Tenerife South Airport. The island of Tenerife gathers the highest passenger movement of all the Canary Islands through its two airports. The two main islands, Tenerife and Gran Canaria receive the greatest number of passengers. Tenerife 6,204,499 passengers and Gran Canaria 5,011,176 passengers. The port of Las Palmas is first in freight traffic in the islands, while the port of Santa Cruz to Tenerife is the first fishing port with approximately 7,500 tons of fish caught, according to the Spanish government publication Statistical Yearbook of State Ports. Similarly, it is the second port in Spain as regards ship traffic, only surpassed by the port of Algeciras Bay. The port's facilities include a border inspection post, BIP, approved by the European Union, which is responsible for inspecting all types of imports from third countries or exports to countries outside the European economic area. The port of Los Cristianos, Tenerife, has the greatest number of passengers recorded in the Canary Islands followed by the port of Santa Cruz to Tenerife. The port of Las Palmas is the third port in the islands in passengers and first in number of vehicles transported. The SS America was beached at the Canary Islands, in the 90s. However, the ocean liner broke apart after the course of several years and eventually sank beneath the surface. The Tenerife tram opened in 2007 and the only one in the Canary Islands, traveling between the cities of Santa Cruz to Tenerife and San Cristobal de la Laguna. It is currently planned to have three lines in the Canary Islands, two in Tenerife and one in Gran Canaria. The planned trend of Gran Canaria railway line will be from Las Palmas to Gran Canaria to Mas Palomas, south. The Servicio Canario de Salud is an autonomous body of administrative nature attached to the ministry responsible for health of the government of the Canary Islands. The majority of the archipelago's hospitals belong to this organization. Before the arrival of the Aborigines, the Canary Islands was inhabited by endemic animals, such as some extinct, giant lizards, Galatea goliath, giant rats, Canariomys bervoi and Canariomys tamarani and giant tortoises, Geocolone burchardi and Geocolone vulcanica, among others. With a range of habitats, the Canary Islands exhibit diverse plant species. The bird life includes European and African species, such as the black-bellied sand grouse, and a rich variety of endemic, local, taxa including the terrestrial fauna includes geckos, wall lizards, and three endemic species of recently rediscovered and critically endangered giant lizard the Aliero giant lizard, or Roque Chico de Samar giant lizard, La Gomera giant lizard, and La Palma giant lizard. Mammals include the Canarian shrew, Canary big-eared bat, the Algerian hedgehog, which may have been introduced, and the more recently introduced mouflon. Some endemic mammals, the lava mouse, Tenerife giant rat and Gran Canaria giant rat, are extinct, as are the Canary Islands quail, long-legged bunting, the eastern Canary Island Shifchaf and the giant prehistoric tortoises, Geocolone burchardi and Geocolone vulcanica. The marine life found in the Canary Islands is also varied, 
being a combination of North Atlantic, Mediterranean and endemic species. In recent years, the increasing popularity of both scuba diving and underwater photography have provided biologists with much new information on the marine life of the islands. Fish species found in the islands include many species of shark, ray, moray eel, bream, jack, grunt, scorpionfish, triggerfish, grouper, goby, and blenny. In addition, there are many invertebrate species, including sponge, jellyfish, anemone, crab, mollusk, sea urchin, starfish, sea cucumber and coral. There are a total of five different species of marine turtle that are sighted periodically in the islands, the most common of these being the endangered loggerhead sea turtle. The other four are the green sea turtle, hawksbill sea turtle, leatherback sea turtle and Kemp's Ridley sea turtle. Currently, there are no signs that any of these species breed in the islands, and so those seen in the water are usually migrating. However, it is believed that some of these species may have bred in the islands in the past, and there are records of several sightings of leatherback sea turtle and beaches in Fuerteventura, adding credibility to the theory. Marine mammals include the large varieties of cetaceans including rare and not well-known species, see more details in the marine life of the Canary Islands. Hooded seals have also been known to be vagrant in the Canary Islands every now and then. The Canary Islands were also formerly home to a population of rarest pinniped in the world, the Mediterranean monk seal. Some holidays of those celebrated in the Canary Islands are international and national, others are regional holidays and others are of insular character. The official day of the autonomous community is Canary Islands Day on May 30th. The anniversary of the first session of the Parliament of the Canary Islands, based in the city of Santa Cruz de Tenerife, held on May 30, 1983, is commemorated with this day. The common festive calendar throughout the Canary Islands is as follows. In addition, each of the islands has an island festival in which it is a holiday only on that island in question. These are the festivities of island patron saints off each island. Organized chronologically are The most famous festivals of the Canary Islands is the Carnival. It is the most famous and international festival of the archipelago. The Carnival is celebrated in all the islands and all its municipalities, perhaps the two busiest are those of the two Canarian capitals, the Carnival of Santa Cruz Tenerife and the Carnival of Las Palmas de Gran Canaria. But the rest of the islands of the archipelago have their carnivals with their own traditions among which stand out, the Festival of the Carneros of El Hierro, the Festival of the Diabolts of Teguise and Lanzarote, Los Indianos de La Palma. The Carnival of San Sebastián de la Gomera and the Carnival of Puerto del Rosario and Fuerteventura. A unique form of wrestling known as Canarian wrestling, Lucha Canaria, has opponents stand in a special area called a terrero and try to throw each other to the ground using strength and quick movements. Another sport is the game of the sticks where opponents fence with long sticks. This may have come about from the shepherds of the islands who would challenge each other using their long walking sticks. Furthermore, there is the shepherd's jump, Salto del Pastor. This involves using a long stick to vault over an open area. This sport possibly evolved from the shepherd's need to occasionally get over an open area in the hills as they were tending their sheep. The two main football teams in the archipelago are the CD Tenerife, founded in 1912, and UD Las Palmas, founded in 1949. As if the 2018 2019 season, both Tenerife and Las Palmas play in Liga Adelante. When in the same division, the clubs contest the Canary Islands Derby. There are smaller clubs also playing in the mainland Spanish Football League system, most notably Ad Lanzarote and CD Laguna, although no other Canarian clubs have played in the top flight. The mountainous terrain of the Canary Islands also caters to the growing popularity of ultra running and ultra marathons as host of annual competitive long distance events, including Transvolcania on La Palma. Trans Gran Canaria on Gran Canaria and the Half Marathon des Sables on Fuerteventura. The Carnival of Santa Cruz de Tenerife, tourist festival of international interest, and Carnival of Las Palmas are one of the most famous carnivals in Spain. It is celebrated on the streets between the months of February and March. Thanks for watching. Don't forget like the video and don't forget to subscribe.